guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is my first video and I'm going to be making a chocolate and caramel cake. So I'm just going to be talking through how I make my cakes and answering some of the questions you've always wanted to know. So some of the recipes that I've used in this video are actually from Cupcake Gemma. So I'll link all of her recipes down below and all the measurements will also be in the description box below. I'd love it if you could check out my Facebook and Instagram account at Baked by Mel and a sprinkle of glitter and they'll also be linked down below. I'd love it if you could hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Let's get into it. And also 550 grams of sugar. So you just put the dry ingredients to the side and then in a separate bowl you're going to do all the wet ingredients so i've got 350 millilitres of coffee so this is just instant coffee that i made and i've just let it cool down for a bit and then i've got some sunflower oil or vegetable oil and some buttermilk and to this bowl i'm also going to crack in five eggs and using a whisk I'm just going to whisk that up a little bit to combine it okay and then you get the dry ingredients and just add it in bit by bit so I normally do it in three to four parts. So you add it in and then you give it a whisk. And at this point you can just grab a spatula because it gets quite hard to mix and just mix it till you can see no more lumps. So I'm going to divide the batter equally between four cake tins and they're seven inches. So I like to use scales just because I'm a perfectionist. You don't have to, but just like to make sure. So I normally do 550 around there, each cake tin. And I just like to scrape the bowl down a little bit, just mix it all in. I put these into the oven at 165 degrees and they'll go in there for approximately 30 minutes so i do 30 to 40 minutes just check in between so we're going to make some caramel to fill the cakes with so in a medium-sized saucepan i'm going to add some caster sugar and some water so all the measurements are in the description box below so i'm just going to put that onto medium heat yeah i'm just going to let that go for a bit do not stir it touch it anything to leave it and yeah okay so now that it's reached a nice dark amber color we're going to add the cream in do it in one go it's going to bubble a lot You just want to stir it so it's nice and smooth and then you've got some caramel. So I'm just going to turn the heat off and I like to just transfer it to a nice large bowl just so it cools down a bit quicker. And it is super super hot so do not touch it or like put your finger in to try it because you will burn yourself. Trust me. So that's your caramel. 
done. So I'm just gonna put this to a side and let it cool down and then we can get on to uh, making the buttercream to assemble the cake. Okay, so for the buttercream, I've got one kilogram of butter. I know that sounds like a lot and it is a lot, but it's Christmas, it's all good. And it tastes great. So I'm just gonna pop that onto my stand mixer and I've got a whisk attachment and I'm just gonna whisk that I'd say for around 10 minutes on high speed, just till it's really pale, white and fluffy. And mainly just to get it super white. So you, like, I always get questions on how my buttercream is so white and this is the secret. You just have to whip it for a long time. Done. It's super nice, like. Okay, and just um, make sure you're scraping the sides of the whisk down as you go, so no butter gets like stuck in the whisk or anything like that. Right, so next, I've got some icing sugar here, so I've got 500 grams, it's already been sifted. So I'm just gonna grab a whisk, and I've also got. 160 ml of milk. Now you can use water, but I think milk gives it like a more rich um, flavour. So I've just got some milk in here, and you want to add it into the icing sugar and just mix it up to get icing sugar everywhere. But you just want to mix it till it's all combined, and you don't see any and you don't see any lumps. Right, so I think I've managed to get rid of most of the lumps, but just because you want a really smooth buttercream that's been silky, you just want to um, sift it a little bit. So I'm just going to sift it into a measuring jug, straight in. So you can see it's got lots of lumps that you just can't whisk out. So what you want to do now is turn your stand mixer onto a medium high speed and as it's mixing you want to gradually pour in the mixture. Pop it on now and whisk it just on high speed for about uh, one to two minutes. Okay, so I know this isn't where we left off. But I've just crumb coated, so I've stacked, layered and crumb coated the cake. Um, funny story, my mum forgot to press play. So we don't have footage of that, but I'll just really quickly talk through it. So I like to use these acrylic discs just to make my life a bit easier. So first I put down my acrylic disc and then on top I put a cake board, which is seven inches. Then I put my first cake layer on, which is also seven inches. And I just went on to layer my cakes and I filled them with caramel. So I just kept going and I got to the top and then I just, I had some excess buttercream around the side. So I just used that to smooth around the edges. So that's our crumb code done. So now we're here. So I've just put the second um, acrylic disc on top. And just to check they're aligned, I like to go along it with a cake scraper. Just make sure it's all aligned. And I'm going to be doing a purple cake. So I'm doing like an ombre. So I've got all the different shades of purple here. So I started off by putting my first layer of buttercream on and it's just a white. I'm going to go on to do the next layer. And what you want to do is you just want to get a little blob of it on your palette knife and just kind of smush it on like that. You just want to keep going. Like that. So you've gone all the way around. But at this point, just so you can, you know you're gonna fit all the colours in, I like to just go around with a cake, with my um, spatula, just to make sure there's enough space for all the other colours. This is my second to darkest colour. I'm just gonna put it on. But just leave a bit of space at the bottom so you can just fit your last colour in. Okay, so now that we've got the colour on, a cake scraper, which is one of these metal things. You can also get plastic ones. I just like the metal one. And we're going to start 
on the cake and hold it at a 90 degree angle. So you don't want to scrape loads of it off in one go. You just want to go slow. You just want to keep doing this. Okay, so it's the next day and I finished the cake off. So it's just been in the fridge overnight. It's got a nice ombre, nice gradient, really nice colours. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip the cake. And to do that, I like to use a large offset palette knife. And you can just try and get it in there. If you put it like that. So you want to get your hands under it and flip it. Because we've used the cake board and this, you can just get a pad knife. And slide it under. So now I'm just going to use some of the excess buttercream we had. Just pop some onto the cake board so it just glues on. And I've just got a nice normal black cake board. You can use whatever colour you want. And I'm just going to try and centre it onto the cake. So you just want to pick it up again and flip it. Yeah. So this is the stage where you can just get some buttercream and fill in any gaps. And you can just grab a cake scraper. I've just got a nice white one here. And just use it to scrape away the excess buttercream. To do the top, it's really the same. So you just grab your um, spatula. You want to slide it underneath the acrylic disc. So I'm just going to take some excess buttercream and just do the top. And because this is a drip cake, you can't really see the top. So it doesn't really matter how neat or what colour you do it. Okay. And now for the sides, we're just going to take our cake scraper again. Just hold it up by the top and smooth it away and you want to be cleaning your palette knife um off so you just cut into the middle like that okay so now we're going to do some white chocolate mash for the drip so it's super simple I've just got, um, I think it's 150 grams of white chocolate in here. I'm just gonna add over 50 grams of cream. So the ratio is basically three parts chocolate, one part cream. Yeah. I'm just gonna pop this into the microwave. I just do it all in one because I can get quicker. Just gonna pop it into the microwave and I do 30 second burst. And just make sure you're staring in between. Okay, so I've got my white chocolate ganache and I just whitened it with some just white food colouring. So it's really nice and white and I've just put it into a squeezy bottle and just pour some onto the top of the cake. Like so. And just taking a palette knife and spread that round. I'm just going to take my squeezy bottle and I'm going to start So I finished off the cake and I just topped it off with some mini meringues that I made in the oven. So comment down below if you want to see a recipe for those. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for my next videos.